Hey folks, Matt Sharp here with another video from Civic Angler. Today we're out in the casting field. This is where I do my introduction to fly fishing casting courses as well as my intermediate casting courses. Today we're going to talk about a concept that I feel is key to fly fishing. I know the thumbnail might have been a little clickbaity, but this is a concept that most beginners get wrong, that intermediates can use to make themselves better casters. And most of the advanced casters, the guys doing competition casting, or the guys throwing really long casts, are hyper-focused on this concept and maximizing it. So, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to walk you through the beginner levels of understanding this, the intermediate levels, and then the advanced levels. If you're a beginner, I'm going to teach you how to focus on it, how to see it, how to train your hands to follow this perfect rail of power. For the intermediate guys, I'm going to teach you how to tweak it. I'm going to teach you how to look at it, expand on it, and make it more efficient. And lastly, for the advanced guys, you guys probably know this already, but I'm going to show you what I saw competition anglers doing when I was competition casting, how they maximize this rail of power. So for you guys that are beginners, this is where we're going to start. Almost all of my beginners in the beginner course struggle with this concept. And they struggle because their hand does not follow a perfect plane. So when they come up onto what I call the rail here, they're going to do what I call windshield wiping. Their hand is going to move in a windshield shape like this. And you can see how that's going to throw power off in all different crazy directions. So what you need to focus on is two motions. When you're starting, you're going to come up onto the rail and then your cast is going to follow that line. When I'm out teaching, this is probably the most focused skill when I'm in a beginner's course, is getting them to put the power along that rail. Now, once you feel like you've mastered that, you're not making that windshield motion with your hand, I want you to look up to the tip of the rod. We're going to try to make that rail follow the tip of the rod now, directing all that power on a perfect line parallel to ground. Once you've mastered that, you're going to see way more power out of your cast and way more speed. And you're also going to be able to analyze it. When you get a bad cast that sort of lands a little bit funny, nine times out of ten, it's because that tip or your hand is sort of dipped off that rail of power. And you're going to be able to analyze it, put it back on the rail, and get that casting going again. Now, for the intermediate guys, where are you going to take this? Well, you've got the rail, you've got that concept, you're working through that line, all your casts are going along that line. Now I want you to try extending. Try extending that rail a little bit from here to here, following that rail. The longer the rail is, the harder it is to stay on it, but the longer it is, the more speed you can generate. So that's the first thing you're going to do in an intermediate stage, is see if you can extend that rail. The second thing you're going to do is you're really going to start looking at it in the three dimensions. Instead of looking at just a rail this way, we're going to come up and look down on our angler and look at it a rail this way. Meaning that it's not going to come this way, it's not going to come this way, and throw power off of it in different directions. I want you to be following a perfect plane of power going back and forward. Now, for you advanced guys, what it comes down to is maximizing this. And so you look at the best casters in the world, their entire body is fully following this plane of power. You're going to see it all the way from their toes almost. Definitely in their knees, definitely in their hips, definitely in their arms rotating, or shoulders rotating, and definitely in their core. Everything is going to be moving on this line. They're going to have a long stroke, and they're going to be going through it with this plane of power. Now, how do you guys want to train it? Well, for you beginners, one of the easiest things that I find to do when you're out on your own, you're trying to figure it out, so you got a four-piece rod, break the rod down, take this guy, this guy's going to be your rail. We're going to hold the rod here. Don't cast a ton of line with this. Obviously, the rod's not designed to be broken in half and cast, but you're going to hold the rod butt here. That's your rail. Now, you're going to take your hand, 
and you're going to cast. And we're going to follow that rail with the line. This is going to help you get trained that, train those muscles and follow that rail really cleanly. Now, for you intermediate guys, extending the rail is hard. Anytime you throw off that rail, you're losing power and it's almost counterproductive if you come off that rail too hard. So really focus on how far you can go. This is where a little bit of style comes in. There's different casters that have different lengths of stroke that feel good about that length and get what they need out of it. For example, some of the really, really big casters are built very strong and very heavy, you know, six foot seven monsters. And those guys can get away with a slightly shorter stroke. Think Mike Tyson, very tight, compact punching style. Throw it around a guy like me who maybe doesn't have the biggest arms. I definitely need to extend quite a bit to get the speed that I need. And uh, because of that, that's where my style comes in. But learning how to extend it is still really critical, whether you're built really heavy or you're lean like I am. So work on extending it. Try to take your hand as far as you can out and following it along and getting it as far out here. That might not be how you end up casting, but just the act of extending that rail and forcing yourself to extend that rail is going to make you a way better versed caster. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. I plan to bring a bunch more of these videos to you. I enjoy making them, and they complement my introduction to fly fishing courses really well. If you are interested in any of those courses, make sure you check out our website at www.pacificangler.ca. And if you saw anything in this video like, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't be scared to leave a comment down below. If maybe you got questions or heck, you may not like the way I'm teaching and you think there's a concept you want to add, I'd love to hear about it. Um, that's how we all get better at this fun sport, and uh, I'll see you guys on the water.